basic purpose of this seems to have to do with the need of the aliens to remove human ova and sperm or cells to take our DNA, our genetic makeup, and to mix it with their own as if what they're trying to do is to create a hybrid mix. The woman might be reabducted months or even years later and shown a tiny baby, which is a strange mix of human and alien characteristics, and they are told in the UFO that this is your child, and they are asked to bond with the child, to hold it. Um, in other words, their, their connection with us, particularly on an emotional level, is very slight. It's as if they don't understand human emotions. And just as they have been trying to learn about human reproduction, I think they're trying to learn about human emotion. I think they're very interested in simple things to us, like how we care for our children, how we care for one another, how uh, romantic relationships begin. All the things that make us most human, they seem very interested in that because it seems that they don't have that themselves. They seem to have their own needs, their own projects, their own agenda. And it does not seem to have anything to do with the good of mankind. At the same time, human beings have a whole group of fears, paranoid fears of enemies of, or devils or whatnot, demons. There's no sense that they have ever deliberately wanted to harm anybody or tried to harm anybody. This is what makes the whole phenomenon so finely puzzling. It doesn't fit human fears or human desires or hopes. That makes me believe that they are a completely external element in the universe which has its own needs, its own patterns of behavior. They are doing terrible things to humans only by accident. In other words, the trauma that happens and the physical problems I don't think are intended, but they do occur. But is this proof? Besides marks on the body, what is real? I collect, for instance, uh, drawings that people make of certain symbols that they've seen inside the craft, certain like writing, never been published. I have about 35 examples that are virtually identical. And I have had now three times when someone has made a drawing for me of symbols, of writing. You have no idea what it means. But they've seen writing inside a craft. When they were finished making the drawing, I have shown them other samples of other people's identical to theirs. And in all three cases, the people have, have burst into tears because it was too upsetting to have that confirmation. They didn't want it to be true either.